take amazing Minecraft screenshots of your builds. Hello everyone and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. So recently I've been seeing Reddit user uh, MC Noodler make some really, really cool builds and show them off and also really cool screenshots of his builds. And they're pretty iconic and neat. And I wanted to reverse engineer how he makes his screenshots. Uh, he's using a program called Chunky, and we've covered Chunky before on OMG Craft in a much more ex expansive, extensive tutorial on a lot of features of Chunky. But I just want to show off how he is doing his screenshots so that maybe you could make some uh, that because it shows off a lot of information in a very small amount of time which is what I like about them so uh, here's how you make those style of screenshots so it all starts here inside of Minecraft first what you want to do uh, I'm deleting this uh, just for no reason um, uh, is have a world with your build in it and this is uh, my build and all around it is void underneath everything is just void and this is the look that we're going to want to go for is kind of this 45 uh, degree angle look on top of the build now in order to get a void world it's actually pretty simple go into single player you can create a new world name it whatever you want make sure that it's set to creative go into more world options change this to super flat hit customize and you can customize these but I like to use the presets down here and just choose void world and when you use that preset and hit done make sure that cheats are on hit uh, create world it will create a void world that has a platform for you already and everything else is void and that makes it really simple to start without anything around your build uh, so anyway uh, now that you have uh, what you want, and mine is named Chunky here, go ahead and go over to Chunky. Uh, you, This is the launcher of Chunky. It's kind of small, sorry. Uh, but uh, I also was having an issue with uh, memory limits, so my memory is really, really low uh, because that was basically the only way that I was able to launch it. This debug console is something you don't need. You can close that. I have that up because I was having issues. So I've already loaded Chunky once before, so it's uh, loaded in this world uh, already. All you have to do is go over here to change world, click that, and you can see all of your worlds. This one, which I named Chunky, is the one that I want. I'm going to load selected world. I can zoom in here and I can see this is the world I want. Now, I already, uh, I actually created this world on exactly a chunk. Uh, so you can kind of see these, this square that's moved around. That is a chunk. That is the size of a chunk. If you zoom out enough, you'll you'll basically choose a larger chunk. Um, but uh, I only need a few. Uh, those four, really, because there's nothing else built in any of the others. And these three on the outside really only have that border uh, inside. You have a whole bunch of different options that you can choose from. Uh, Remember, I did a larger tutorial on Chunky before. We're really just going to show how to get that really cool uh, build look uh, in this one. So all we're going to uh, do is go over to da, 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 3D Render, the 3D Render tab, and click New Scene. Uh, it's going... Hmm, let's do this one more time. Uh, yeah, New Scene... Normally, it gives you a place, uh, it, it tells you where would you like to save this scene, um, but it didn't do that this time. Uh, anyway, what you're looking at here is you have sort of a control panel and you have a render preview over here. A render preview is pretty small. You can either drag it out uh, like this. Uh, but you can see that it's still rendering only a little box. And that's because it's the actual pixels of whatever you are, are about ready to render. Uh, you can change that by either selecting some default sizes over here or by uh, multiplying them uh, by like, you know, times 0.5 times uh, 1.5 or times uh, 2. So now we're at 800 by 800 pixels. There are some nice presets. So if you wanted this to be 1920 by 1080, which is, uh, you know, 1080p uh, HD resolution, we're just going to keep it at um, this 800 by 800. 
So you can move the preview around. You can also use your W, A, S, and D keys to move the, the uh, camera around. And this is normally how Chunky works. But remember, we're going for what is called an isometric view. And an isometric, oh, there's the player, LOL. Uh, an isometric view, oh man, I hope that player doesn't uh, screw up some stuff. Um, it, the uh, pixels at the bottom are the same size as the pixels at the top and there is none of this uh, depth to it. So you see how I look off in the distance and these lines are all merging off onto the horizon line. That's not true on an isometric view. So what you have to do is go over to your camera settings and uh, on your uh, uh, pr uh, projection settings, uh, choose parallel. Boop. And it looks a little bit weird, but that's just because you have to zoom in an awful lot. I may have to move my character out of the shot here uh, in just a bit. And this is an isometric view, and you can see that absolutely everything, see if I look at the horizon, how everything is, <laughs> it's getting a little weird, uh, is the exact same size, uh, whether or not uh, it's up near the top or near the bottom. So in order to get that perfect uh, uh, view, what we want is to set our, uh, our uh, direction to be 45 degrees. There you go, and you can hit enter. And then also to set our uh, secondary direction to be negative 45 degrees and hit enter. And this will be exactly on point. Hmm. Actually, it kind of doesn't look exactly on point. Looks like uh, I need to be 45. There we go, and probably negative 60 degrees. There we go, and that looks really good. I can use my scroll wheel to uh, make sure that uh, everything is uh, in shot. I can also move by either clicking into here and using the W, A, S, and D keys, like such, to move the canvas around, or I can uh, move the position uh, over here. So if I know that I need this to be, say, 18, 16, actually it would probably be 16, 16, and zero if I had to guess, uh, something like that for it to be exactly center. Okay, so I moved the character and some of the windows may have moved around because uh, I had to close and reopen uh, Chunky for that save to uh, take place. Uh, so now I have basically what I had set up before. Now there's one extra element and that is where the sun is located and where it is going to fall on our render. Now right now this may not look like a very impressive render and that's because we haven't done any processing to actually see what the final product is going to look like. And this requires a little bit of explaining about how Chunky works. What Chunky does is uh, it sends basically a ray from the light source, which would be the sun. It sends that ray towards our, uh, for, you know, from where it originated, which in this case would be the sun uh, in the world. Uh, to our canvas, it hits whatever it hits, and then it will bounce off in a direction, and some of those rays will bounce off into the camera lens and will render as basically a sub-pixel dot of light. And this makes a really, really cool looking uh, render, but it takes a very long time. And each of those is basically a pass. Uh, and so you see these SPP, target SPP. That's basically the number of passes that uh, your render will go through. On very low light situations, you have to go through a lot of passes because those basically fake rays of light need to bounce off and get to the fake camera lens. Uh, but on high bright situations, uh, you can lower that those uh, passes to be a lot lower. Now you can't really, you could guess where the sun is uh, or you could know based off of your lighting parameters, which is over here, because you could change the sun uh, as myth or altitude that's the azimuth is or whatever that word is is uh basically where it is uh in a 100 and, or sorry uh 360 degree uh point around the center uh if you knew that congratulations what i tend to do is i tend to start the render and i can see that ugh, the sun and you can get a really good idea of what this render is going to look like oh the sun's behind it well i really want the sun to hit the front 
of uh, my render. So I'm going to move that sun to a position where it's good. So now it looks like that'd be hitting uh, the front of my render. That looks great. And we're just going to leave it. Uh, remember, the more uh, SPP that uh, hits that you run, the sharper the image will look. But even right now, at only, what, 40, 50, uh, this looks really, really, really good and really, really cool. I can hit pause and it'll stop uh, rendering out uh, those passes or I can hit reset and it'll set it back to its default and uh, change some parameters. Like if I wanted this to be an even uh, woo, uh, higher definition um, uh, image uh, or if I wanted to go over to uh, the camera and maybe set a uh, different angle uh, for my render because I like it better and then I could hit start and there you go uh, you can see that already it looks quite cool uh, you may see I'm actually gonna I'm gonna uh, pause and uh, reset this uh, look right here this area will be in shadow and in fact I'm going to see how much larger oop oop don't break don't break my computer here uh, how much larger we can get please Okay, uh, let's do 2,000 by 2,000. Will it allow me to do that? Apply? Okay, whoa. <laughs> We're kind of getting uh, getting to the limits here. Uh, right here will be uh, a really dark. So if I hit render, you can see it's very grainy in the beginning, just like that. It's very, very grainy. And over time, it becomes less and less grainy. Uh, as every single one of these uh, renders takes place. And that is what each of those passes will do. When it's grainy and black, that means because it doesn't have any data, because uh, a fake ray of light hasn't hit that and bounced back towards the camera. Uh, but it will become better and better and better uh, as more passes go through. Uh, obviously, the larger your image, the longer it is taking. Uh, right now, we're only at uh, about 20 passes where before you could see while recording, uh, I was able to get up to uh, 50 passes in uh, just a few uh, seconds. So uh, that is a way to make these very high quality renders. Chunky has so many different styles that you can pull off. This is just one of them. Also, I mean, big, obviously big shout out to MC Noodler for basically, I mean, to my knowledge coming up with uh, this really cool look of kind of nothing void in the background and a little edge of locks to show size. Uh, you know, obviously credit goes to him for creating that style. Uh, but you can do a lot more with Chunky and there's a lot of really cool uh, examples as well um, on their website. So if you make a render with Chunky and you want to send it our way, please do. Twitter.com slash OMG Craft Show is a place to send that over. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and please subscribe for more episodes. YouTube.com slash OMG Craft is a place to do it. See you next time. Bye.